Hello, everyone. I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Okami. In case you're wondering why we're not, um, the dog, Amaterasu, or Isun, and are now a man, um, that's the Emperor. We basically climbed into- climbed in his mouth, went down to his stomach, killed the, uh, poison demon that was basically taking minor control of his body and filling the air with a poison, and now we're taking control so that we can free someone. Because that's how this works. So, I guess now we just walk around. Oh. I guess this controlling humans business is harder than it looks. We gotta get Big Shot here over to Ka Kaguya's cell, not this way. Okay, let's head for his cell now. Yeah, somehow this is working. Your Highness! You're well enough to walk ag around again? That Kaguya girl he was imprisoned just as you ordered, sire. But she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Uh, um, not that I'm doubting your bountiful wisdom, Your Highness. Yeah, I don't know how this is exact. This is working exactly. Your Highness, I know you have already refused to see a doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say your illness is what's. Uh, um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. Are you the Emperor? But if you're here, does that mean those two are... Oh dear, it's all my fault. How shall I ever apologize? Hmm, let's see. How about you start off by making me a hundred dumplings? Huh? <laughs> eh, just pulling your legs, sweetie. That voice... You think we'd buy the farm that easy? The Emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. But we took care of it. Things should get back to normal soon. Now, let's make this royal oaf open your cell. Let's see... Oh, thank you! I thought I'd never get out of there. No time for chit-chat, Bamboo Girl! We freed the Emperor from that monster control- from that monster controlling him. But things are still a bit dicey around here. We're gonna hightail it out of this place. I suggest you do too. Now, let's see here. Oh yeah, uh, coochie coochie go! I can tell what you want to do, Annie. I agree. That'll make it feel like we set things r straight here. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now, give one of those victory owls to wake up the Emperor. Well, that happened. <laughs> Oh, now we have a success! <laughs> it took a long time, but we did do it. Would you like to save the game? Yes. Hmm. I wonder what was wrong with me. People say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya. And I remember a secret treasure for crossing a sea of fire. But I've totally lost my memory of what happened after that. It's almost like I was possessed by a strange spirit. Eh, talk about a troublesome emperor. But Kaguya's safe and all. Guess we can cut him some slack. A white wolf. And a curious bouncing ball. I have an uncanny feeling that I had a dream about you two. I must apologize to Queen Hamiko for my unforgivable blunders. Hamiko? Yes! That's it, Amy! This city's a complete mess, and Queen Hamiko's not doing a thing about it. There's no excuse for her just sitting around in her palace. 
Boy, am I gonna give her a piece of my mind. Ah, the lovely white wolf. For some reason, I seem to feel so relaxed when you are around. I have this peaceful feeling, as if you know me inside out. Oh, I know you from the inside, believe me. I'm collecting demon fangs, you know. If you have any for me, you can take some of my treasure. People will probably say I'm foolish giving treasure to a wolf. But you're my lucky wolf. I'm certain some good will come of it. Surely you've collected lots of them, eh? What do you think? Would you like to make a swamp? Marked with mist crest allows transfer between origin mirrors. That sounds useful. Peace bell, don't care much. Wood mat, eh. Thief's Glove. Draw a line connecting Isun to an enemy to steal items. Ink Pot with Golden Sheen increases ink restoration speed. I feel like the Fog Pot is something I really need. Oh. Ah, oh, hammer to rush the origin of all that is good and... Bother to us all. Our separation has weakened me. My power has been scattered like mist. Your heart, pure enough to pierce the darkness, reawakened me. The seal of mist will protect me. My power is reached to speak. I hereby bestow upon you. The power of Mist Warp. Okay then. Oh, never expected something like that from a flask. Bet that Royal Oaf didn't even know I was in this thing. Now about Mist Warp. I don't know exactly how to use it, but the important thing is you got another technique back. Huh. Veil of Mist Tech. Stroll by, drawn by Wandering Artist. Okay, let's see what this is. Travel Guide. Veil of Mist Tech. Origin mirrors carve your memory forever into the annals of time. Among these mystical mirrors are special ones known as the Ultimate Origin Mirrors, which possess incredible divine powers. Draw an X symbol on an Ultimate Origin Mirror using Veil of Mist to activate the Mist Warp technique. Using this technique allows you to teleport to ultimate origin mirrors in other locations. Okay, another teleportation ability. And new bestiary. Fire Doom Mirror. A man possessed by extreme fury was unable to forget his rage even after death, resulting in his soul being absorbed into his favorite mirror. Anger is stirred by gazing at the mirror even with no logical pretense. This is the method of the fury-filled mirror. Blowing on the mirror may snuff the flames of intense rage. And Ice Doom Mirror, a beautiful and popular actress hoped to retain her looks forever. This hope became an obsession, and her soul was sucked into her mirror. Gazing into the mirror reveals a pretty woman. Those who smile at her die instantly. We must remind the actress of her inner warmth. It is said that she bathed her mirror in flame before acting. And Blight. This is the evil blood-sucking entity Golden Nail made solid. It infested the Emperor's body like a parasite, spewing poison mist throughout the capital. It possesses many attack skills. Trembling before attacking, its swordplay is incredibly swift. On foggy nights, its precise movement may become visible. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to keep that as it is. And we can look around the palace, I guess. If you look closely, demon fangs seem to differ slightly. I'd like to collect each and every one of them if I could. What do you think? Do you want to swap yours for some treasure? Unfortunately, we only have 20. Which would be enough for a peace spell, but I don't care about that. I want... I want the golden ink pot, but I'm gonna need a lot of fangs for that, and that's gonna take a while. Come and visit me again when you have more demon fangs to swap. I will indeed keep that in mind. Hello! A rooster statue! Oh, I missed what it said. Either way... Oh, I see something hidden! 
Oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, it's a stray bead. Meh. Okay, so that was the way that came out. That poisonous air disappeared as soon as the Emperor got better. Maybe it had something to do with whatever was possessing him. Anyway, I hope everyone else recovers from the illness, too. Oh! This was the route we took! That got us in. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. The Emperor is back to his usual gentle self again. It seems he was possessed by some kind of malevolent force. I'm worried about the strange air stretching across Nihon. I hope it isn't headed for Seon City, too. Okay, I don't know what the point of this is. Doesn't seem to be anything else. So, I think we can leave. Oh, wait, hold on. We got another treasure. And I see one in the background. A pearl! And I see you. And we got a crystal. Think that. M oh no, here's another. Yeah, there's a bunch of treasures buried in here. A bullhorn? I missed. There we go. And a lacquerware set. Definitely something we can sell. I think this'll do for the most part, so we're good. All right, and this is a way out, so we can leave. Oh. Well, if it isn't the white wolf coming out of the palace, that means you must have snuck your way in somehow. You did well. Thank you. Hey there, wolf. So you've snuck into the palace then. I had a feeling that you were in there, but I turned a blind eye. It's almost like I knew that some good would come of it. Not sure exactly what happened, but I do know that the Emperor is back to his usual gentle self. Oh yes! That girl Kaguya has been released safe and sound too. She came running outside earlier, looking happy as can be. Well, that's definitely a good thing. I suppose now we can head back out into the city. And explore more thoroughly. There she is. Hey, bamboo girl. What are you doing spacing out here? I mean, you're free now. You could go anywhere you want. Oh, hello you two. I hardly recognize you. You were so tiny when we first met. You certainly cut a dashing figure at full size. Ah, oh, you think so? Well, actually, I hear stuff like that all the time. <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, I meant you too, Isun. Anyway, the city is a dangerous place right now. You should head back to your grandpa's house. That emperor fella's got an eye for that treasure of yours, right? You should get away before others start sniffing around. Plus, your grandpa seems awfully lonely, you know. Really? Oh, I see. That dear old man thinks of me as his own granddaughter. I would really like to return, but... You're not his granddaughter? You mean your real family lives somewhere else? Uh, anyway, you should just go see him if you feel that way. I know nothing of my past. I don't even know who I am or where I came from. My first memory is of waking up in a bamboo grove. The bamboo cutter took me home, where I was lovingly cared for. To repay his kindness, I helped him with his bamboo wear. If that's the case, then why don't you hurry up and go see him? I know nothing of my past, but I do recall one faint memory. Go on. I fought long and hard while I was imprisoned. It was then that I remembered being in a small dark room long ago. That's all I can think about now. 
and I feel I must get there as soon as I can. I cannot escape that feeling. Hmm. That's a pretty weird story. I mean, you don't even know where it is you want to go back, though. Bits and pieces of my memory are coming back in flashes. Together, they form a vision. I see a royal crest inscribed in earth amid a grove of bamboo. I must go to Sasa Sanctuary! There it shall all become clear. Sasa Sanctuary? Okay. Huh? What's gotten into you? I mean, first with the dark room, and now you suddenly want to go to Sasa Sanctuary. I don't know to where I must return, but I have this intense feeling in my heart. It drives me forward to my ultimate destination. It drives me to seek the royal crest. I must leave for Sasa Sanctuary at once. Hey, wait! Bamboo girl, wait! Ah, she's gone. Well, that's strange. Very interesting. Ooh, can I... Yes! Ah, uh, this'll be good. And... Ooh. Oh no, I did one of those. Well, either way... Now I can go ahead and explore around here and make things better. That is not what I intended to do. I intended to take care of these. Let's see. We've got a room over here. Looks like we've been in here once, but... Now that the Emperor is better, let's see if these guys have anything new to say. Also, we can, uh... Do that with those. Have you heard the news, Poop? Seems that the Emperor has gotten over his illness at last. He's back to his gentle old self, thank goodness. I can't tell you how relieved I am. Ah, uh, it's been a long time since I've seen my husband look so happy. Although we're in the Emperor's service now, my husband and he were great friends during their school days. There's nobody happier than him now that the Emperor's better. I'm sure. Alright, out of here. Uh, let me take a look at the map for a moment. I just want to take a look. Oh! There's, uh, something we can look at up there. I guess this was, uh, blocked off before. Yes, it's a teleporter option. Fortunately, there's not much else around here aside from things- aside from bamboo shoots to dig up. Oh, no, wait, I take it back. And one of these. There we go. Oh, another one of these. Ooh, you have something to say. Oh yeah, you! Eh? Hey, Hornhead, what you up to here? Oh, you are just in time to witness history in the making. I finally realized how empty the life of a sword collector is. Now I am hooked on the thrill of fishing. Ha 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 ha, I made a pun. Will you not join me in my newfound passion? Sure, we'll do a fishing. Oh, why not? We could afford to kill a little time. Let's psych ourselves up, Amy. Yes, I know how to do it. There we go. There we go, and we have caught a... A smelt. The more you fish, the more larger fish will come. 
I mean, I guess. It's a way to make money, too. That is a crab. That is not a fish. I don't think crabs count as fish. They count as crustaceans. Sure. Oh, hey, there are larger fish. That's not the one I wanted to catch! Okay. Come here. Come here. Please. Oh, it's another smelt. Sure. I mean, I can try and catch bigger ones. Again, the tiny one! I wanted the big one. Another smelt. Mm. I mean, I can sell them for money at least, if nothing else. Let's wait for that one to actually go away a bit. There we go. There, that one's a bit bigger. That is a lobster! Okay, that is also not the fish, but, I mean, we're catching it, so... Sorry, crawfish, not lobster. There's some big ones. Alright, what are you? That is a bigger fish, definitely. Oh, this one's needing a couple sli slashes to catch it. Okay. Come here, you. Okay, you're being kind of annoying. Stop dodging back and forth so much. Come here. There we go. Oh god, again. Come here, you. Like, the moment it lets up, it jumps away. There we go. Finally, jeez. That was annoying. A Huchen. That's definitely not one I've ever seen before. Fine, I'll give it one more try. That's a very big one there, so sure, let's see what this one is. Oh, that is very speedy. It's another Huchen, it looks like. On already. There's two slashes. Come here, you. Come on. Stop jerking back and forth like that so much. <sighs> Come here, you. Come on, come on, just get over here. Ah! Mm -hmm. 
spiffing game gets quite annoying. Come here, you! Ugh. It's like the moment it gets close, it decides to turn, and I lose all my progress. Come here! There we go! That's the last one, and I think I'm done with the fishing. Okay. Yes, thank you, I caught a hoochin. Wonderful. Am I on a roll? No, I think I'm done. Thank you. Alright. I guess we can see what it says in the, uh, menu. About what a hoochin is. Oh, what a thoroughly thrilling battle! I feel life itself pulsing through my rod. I have discovered my reason for living. Do have fun with that. Now, as I was saying here... Logbook, yes I know. We have to go to Kaguya's memories and Queen Hamiko. The fish tome. We've got smelt. This common fish can be found in many climates and salt levels. And Huchin. Rare and desirable, it is regarded as the king of freshwater fish. And Treasure Tome, Rooster Statue. Its humorous look elicits smiles. All right. And with that, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here, because this seems a fair spot to end. Not the stream, just the episode. Next episode, we are going to take a look through the rest of the city. Maybe see if we can get to Queen Hamiko, and then head out see the rest of the city, and make our way towards what's her name. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Isu Nanamaterasu. This has been a let's play of Okami, and I shall see you all next time.